Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Mysteries from Beyond the Other Dominion. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule. Now, Secrets of the Golem. Roll tape. Now, it's time to investigate the mysterious creature known as the Golem. But first, the trivia question of the day. Let me ask you here from its paper prison. The question. The most famous golem in history was reportedly created in which European country in the 16th century? Now, this is notable choice in inverse alphabetical order. Was that country Yugoslavia, Romania, Poland, Hungary, Germany, Czechoslovakia, or Austria? Now, for the correct answer, the prize is one pat on the back that you'll have to administer to yourself. If you want a million dollars, call Meredith Vieira. Please, though, don't call us. We do not have any offers to take her calls, and if we did, we still could not afford prizes. I'll take a sip of water and be back momentarily with that correct answer. By the way, Golem is spelled G-O-L-E-M for any of you taking notes out there. Okay, I'm calling time, and now let's look at the seven possible answers. The European country in which the first and best known golem was created. That was that country, Yugoslavia, Romania, Poland, Hungary, Germany, Czechoslovakia, or Austria. And of course I have to ask, is that your final answer? Poland? No, it was Czechoslovakia. It's actually created by Rabbi Judah Lowe. Now, the idea of a golem dates back to the early Tomatic sculptures and was first used in the description of the creation of Adam where the golem was a massless form of clay that was endowed with life and a soul. In the 34th centuries, there were Talmudic tales of golems being created, such as from statues that were inanimate. Kabbalistic rites were used to endow the statue with life. It then became a servant or a soldier. And as part of that activation process, a strip of paper bearing this word, AMF, was placed on the forehead of the statue. That means either God or truth. And if for some reason this creature got out of control and became violent simply by rubbing out the first two letters and changing that word to mayeth, which means death, it could be inactivated. Another idea was that this strip of paper could be placed within the Star of David and placed on the chest of the statue to activate it. Now, as I said, the most famous golem in history was created by Judah Lowe in the 16th century in Prague, not only as a servant, but to protect his people from persecution because they, of course, lived in a ghetto there. Now, we don't know if the golem actually existed or if this is a mere legend, but it was treated in silent films in 1913, 1917, and 1920. We're going to see the Golem in action from this 1920 version starring Paul Wegner as the Golem. Now, roll tape. Okay, we're having a glitch, so count as fast as you can. See if you can get to 100 till we get this glitch settled. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Here we go.
is activated. It's alive. The golem is alive. Beyond belief. control. The golem is out of control. Oh no. The golem is dead. No. Imagine that. A tiny child subdued the mighty golem. Yes an intriguing tale. Now I should point out there was a 1967 version of this movie entitled It starring Roddy McDowell. I have to say even though I like Roddy, it was a disappointment in comparison to this 1920 classic. Now it's time. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos and of the golem be with you. Yes, yes, yes.